Once upon a time, there was a king with wings of Viridian, who raised a shining city out of the earth itself. One by one, he drew the attention of three local gods, who he then likewise adored. But the gods are selfish beings, and quickly grew weary of his divided devotion. So one day, they descended down to the shining city and asked the king where his loyalties lied, once and for all. The first god, a towering figure with sparks jumping through his eyes, implored, I am the most divine! My divinity comes from the sky itself, from the clouds that give the world life, from the words sung to me as tribute from devoted followers. And yet here I am asking you for your devotion. I can give you a son made in my image, as divine and perfect as I. The king was moved, but while in consideration, the second god, with skin that shone like gold and teeth that gleamed like silver, stepped forwards. What good is being head of a family when you could be the head of all there is to have? My divinity comes from the blinding warmth of new rays, from the realm that sits behind heavy eyelids, from the authority of kings and conquerors past. Give me your loyalty, and I shall guide your hand in expanding your borders until they span from dawn's scarlet fingers to dusk's blazing kingdom. The king once again considered, and turned to the third god, with petals in her hair and the sound of war in her step. This god was a cunning god, you see, and after hearing the offers made by her two compatriots, she stepped forward. One of us offered you companionship, and the other offered you prestige. I bring forth something different. My divinity comes from the spilt blood from which civilizations sprout, from the bonds forged in battle between friend and foe alike, from the first saplings after a fire and the first harvest after a famine. I am far older than my compatriots, and I was human once. If you devote yourself to me, I will give you what I wish for eons ago. Choose me, and no harm shall ever come to your home ever again. Under my protection, your kingdom will flourish Famine and conquest will be no more. In exchange, show your devotion by opening your arms and hearts. Become a sanctuary for the hungry and hunted, and be under my protection. The Viridian king, who had raised a shining city with his own bare hands, who had sought a new beginning after crawling out of a charred, crumbled ruins, stepped forwards and fell to one knee. I have awoken before to crackling flames on a sanguine morning. My soul echoes of laughter and joy snatched by the edge of a blade and the fragility of mortal peace. I accept your offer, O goddess. I will make my kingdom a respite, and its lungs shall breathe with my lungs, its heart shall beat with my heart. And from that moment, trees stretched their roots into the deepest caverns and their branches brushed the heavens. Wheat fields glistened like bronze and sang in the breeze. The land lives on with the king, and the king lives on. The hidden sanctuary, sworn to its goddess of rebirth, endures as a respite for any traveler or vagabonds to stumble upon the shining city of the Viridian King.